Hello and Namaste everyone. In this video, um, I will be discussing about uh, infiltration topic of hydrological loss chapter of um, hydrology. Uh, the first question that was asked in 2022 Provincial University in 2A in 4 marks is how do you determine the Wharton's coefficient? Um, we need to uh, find the Wharton's coefficient k. Uh, uh, we know the formula of Wharton's formula for infiltration is given by f is equal to f c plus f not minus f c e power minus k t. Cumulative infiltration is given by um, this is the graph, this is time period, and this is the rate of infiltration we have um, at initial. Uh, the this infiltration capacity is more, and as time passes it will slowly reduces to um, this um, FC that is the infiltration capacity and F naught is the initial capacity initial infiltration um, to find the um, infiltration at any point this um, we draw the horizontal and vertical line from here and this is this f and the time and this time corresponding to this point is uh, this t and the cumulative infiltration is given by from time 0 to 2 0 to t is given by the integration that means the area under this area under this curve mm, bounded by this x-axis above x-axis from time 0 to time so cumulative infiltration means this all is given by integration from this 0 to 2 ft dt and ft is f at any point t and this fc is um, fc is this and plus f not minus fc is this and this is the uh, exponential curve so uh, integrating this fc is constant for this uh, particle soil in that particular location fc is constant so integration and the d will cancel so remain meaning is t and if not minus fc is also uh, constant so um, the integration of e power minus kt is e power minus kt divided by the coefficient of this t that is minus k and from 0 to t and uh, this minus k uh, i take here and the remaining is uh, first putting upper limit in here e minus kt and uh, substituting 0 in this Mm, t we get e minus 0 so mm, ft is equal to fc t plus f not minus f c minus k is the same and e power minus kt and e power minus 0 is 0 so e power 0 is 1 so uh, taking this negative sign in here we get 1 minus e power minus kt uh, for last value of t e minus kt is negligible if this is last then this will reduce to zero so f t is f c t plus this one minus zero is one and remaining is 
f0 minus fc divided by k so from here mm, f t from here f t minus f c into t equals f not minus f c divided by k and if this k goes here then ultimately is f not minus this f c and uh, this part will go here so it will be f t minus f c t so um, how do you determine the Hortons coefficient by this way you can determine the Hortons coefficient and uh, this formula this method is um, asked in numericals also next question that was asked in 2022 Purvanshan University is what is in filtrometer it is the simple in filtrometer meter means a device if there is meter in um, after something then this is the device used to measure what used to measure infiltration infiltration means the penetration or penetration of water into the soil or um, permeates into the soil uh, so it was asked in two marks so uh, this one sentence is not enough so uh, we should add few more sentence for these two marks so uh, infiltrometer is commonly used in hydrology soil science and civil engineering to determine the infiltration capacity of the soil mm, it is used to determine infiltration capacity or infiltration rate of the soil and to assess the asset its ability to to assess its ability to to assess its ability to absorb water infiltrometer typically consists of a cylindrical or ring shaped metal container mm. this is a cylindrical or ring shaped container made of metal with a known surface area this content is firmly placed on the soil surface uh, this is the soil surface and water is added to the container to create a constant hydraulic head or water pressure uh, the water infiltrates in the soil um, Mm. Mm. first of all the uh, site is to run the mm, surface with uh, no cracks and uh, less vegetation is to run with a level surface and then this is kept then uh, mm, this type of device is placed uh, above this and by the hammer by impact absorbing hammer mm, this is the hammer by impact absorbing hammer we heat and penetrate uh, it into the soil mm, and after it penetrates in the soil we fill the uh, water and let it infiltrate the water infiltrates in the soil through the bottom or side of a container at the rate of infiltration and the rate of infiltration is measured over a specific time uh, the different type of infiltrometer are as follows first is floating type infiltrometer and second is rainforest simulators type infiltrometer and the flooding 
type is again divided into single ring having only one ring and double ring having two ring in plan single ring will be like this and double ring in filtrometer will be like this the center of this circle will be same for both circle and in floating type single ring in filtrometer mm. single ring in filtrometer consists of a single metal ring uh, this is the single metal ring this ring serves as a both the water reservoir and the area through which water infiltrates into the soil uh, this ring acts as both water reservoir and the area and the area through which the water infiltrates the soil the metal cylinder is of diameter 25 centimeter to 30 centimeter and the length 50 centimeter uh, to remember this value uh, we should remember the scale or the ruler of um, this uh, 30 centimeter scale um, that we get from um, stationary and the diameter is 30 centimeter uh, this diameter is 30 centimeter this is same this 30 centimeter and length is 60 centimeter that is uh, twice this scalar ruler mm. And both ends open uh, this end is open uh, to um, add water and from this end the water will penetrate below um, it is driven into a level ground such that about 10 centimeter of cylinder is above the ground Mm, about 10 centimeter of cylinder is above the ground uh, this is ground level and uh, diameter is 30 centimeter and this is 50 cross 10 60 centimeter that is twice the diameter water is poured into the top part to a depth of 5 cm and point is set inside the ring to indicate the water level to remain done uh, up to a depth of 5 cm um, a point is marked and water is filled knowing the volume of water added during different time interval uh, so volume is area times uh, depth and um, area times depth and area is pi d square over 4 and this is the depth and diameter is this 30 centimeter uh, so by knowing the volume of water added during different time interval the plot of infiltration capacity versus time is obtained uh, the plot of the graph of infiltration capacity versus time is 
obtained this experiment continues until uniform rate of infiltration until this uniform rate of infiltration uh, this is like a straight line this is a straight line on this this straight line is raised that means uniform rate of infiltration this infiltration will be constant uh, until the uniform rate of infiltration is obtained and it takes around to three hours it depends mm. this is the figure of single ring infiltrometer and next is double ring infiltrometer uh, this is most commonly used in filtrometer that means it is mostly used than a single ring infiltrometer it consists of two concentric metal rings this one and two concentric means uh, the circle having same center consist of two concentric metal rings the inner ring acts as water reservoir in inner ring mm, the water is reserved the outer rings define the area through which water infiltrates into a soil uh, water is added into an inner ring and the rate of water infiltration into a soil is measured over a specific time. The ring are driven into the soil uniformly without disturbing the soil. Uh, we should keep in mind that uh, the soil should not be disturbed more while driving the mm, while driving the this ring to the soil. So we use uh, impact absorbing hammer to drive the ring and the ring has sharp end and below so that it can penetrate easily without disturbing the soil and while adding uh, water to the this ring while adding water to the string we put um, spoons or soft soft substance so that in the impact of this water is absorbed by this uh, spoons so that uh, less disturbance is made to the soil the ring are driven into soil uniformly without disturbing the soil to the depth of uh, 25 cm diameter depth of 25 cm it is 15 plus 10 25 cm diameter may vary between 25 to 60 uh, inner diameter is around 30 cm and outer diameter is around 60 cm and uh, this height will be around 25 centimeter and the constant water depth of 5 centimeter is maintained uh, this is 5 and this is also 5 because this is 10 this experiment is carried out till constant rate of infiltration is observed till this constant rate of infiltration and C means constant constant rate of infiltration is observed then we stop the experiment and this is the reverse figure for double ring infiltrometer uh, rainfall simulator rainfall simulator is a type of infiltrometer used to study the infiltration process of water into soil on the controlled laboratory or field concern in this previous method in this double ring infiltrometer and single ring infiltrometer this is the flooding type uh, water is flooded but in rainfall simulator the word rainfall means the rain, rainfall from the atmosphere and simulator means 
this is not real but this is like similar like rainfall that means the artificial rain is uh, given or spread or spring called in the soil mm. so that the uh, mm. so that actual rainfall environment is achieved is a type of infection used to stop the infiltration process of water in the soil under control laboratory or field condition this can be done in laboratory or field by controlling or controlling uh, rainfall interest intensity water droplet size uh, humidity temperature mm, and so on it copies the natural rainfall this is not natural rainfall but it makes all rainfall moisture temperature and all environments similar to this natural rainfall by creating artificial rain drops and applying them to the soil structure the rainfall simulator allows resources to measure and analyze the rate and pattern of water infiltration which is important for understanding soil water interaction the relationship between soil and water and the hydrological processes and soil properties there are various types of rainfall simulators mm, available in the market but the most common ones include the following components mm. the figure of rainfall simulator will be like uh, this is the plot of land uh, let's say for example 4 meter and 2 meter and this dimension will vary this is just an example uh, and this land uh, artificial raindrop uh, is simulated by uh, by sprayer or sprinkler having a nozzle and this is the soil and all the other like temperature humidity is maintained and we can control the intensity of this artificial rainfall size of raindrop etc and measure infiltration of the from the soil and runoff Uh, the most common one include the following components it combines the rainfall generation system the system that generates rainfall that means spring called nozzle etc and soil container the soil container is this container uh, raindrop size and intensity controller uh, this is the rainfall size and intensity controller and the rainfall generator system if this is the nozzle if this is the nozzle then and this whole system is called rainfall generation system uh rainfall size and intensity control collection and measurement system uh, we have to collect this infiltration and this runoff water and data recording and analysis and there should be a system uh, to record 
first of all to collect uh, data and then record the data and finally analysis analyze the data uh, next question that was asked in this many years of Provencal University uh, 2019 18 17 13 12 11 and more uh, the question is state factors affecting infiltration or factor affecting infiltration dead uh, this can also be asked uh, like explain the factor which influence infiltration there are uh, this is this was asked in two marks four marks five marks six marks four marks so we should write accordingly if it is asked in two marks then uh, you can just list this without explaining like uh, the first factor is soil texture and structure second is vegetation cover third is soil moisture content fourth is slope and topography fifth is rainfall intensity and duration six is land use and land management practices and soil compaction and finally soil organic matter uh, if it was asking only two marks then you can just uh, list them but if uh, it is asking four marks six, six marks eight marks then uh, we should explain so first is soil texture and structure coarse texture soils such as sandy soil generally have high infiltration rates and they have larger pore space that allow water to move through quickly uh, this is the coarse texture soil uh, the example is sand and there are many there are many void large uh, pores space so the infiltration will be more because water move quickly and fine text soils fine text soils such as clay soil will have smaller uh, spaces that is poor uh, inside them so that uh, water penetrates um, water will find difficult to penetrate so infiltration will be uh, low and this is the soil texture and next is soil structure uh, soil structure which refers to the arrangement of soil particles also affect infiltration well aggregated soils with good poor structure typically have higher infiltration rate so if the soil is well aggregated uh, then it will have a uh, good amount of pore so that water infiltrate quickly uh, next is vegetation cover if this is land and here are many uh, vegetables If there are many the presence or absence of vegetation greatly influence infiltration vegetation intercepts rainfall and reduce the impact of rain drops on the soil uh, if rain occurs then uh, this vegetation will absorb the uh, impact of rain and uh, so that uh, impact of rain on soil is minimum so soil erosion that means removal of soil layer soil top layer from the ground is uh, minimized and so that infiltration is enhanced that is infiltration increasing plant roots create pathway for the water to move into the soil uh, 
here are also the root of plants Uh, this root make pathway uh, to the water so that um, infiltration rate increases dense vegetation cover such as uh, this forest or grassland this is forest and grassland means a uh, land with grasses uh, promotes higher infiltration compared to bear bear land means the land which um, have do not have or have few vegetation or degraded areas means the areas is degraded by many regions like uh, by lack of rainfall lack of organic materials uh, due to volcanic eruption etc uh, soil moisture content the soil moisture content of soil affects infiltration uh, dry soil tend to have a high infiltration rate initially as they can absorb water readily if this is the dry soil then uh, it's void are free from water so that if uh, rainfall occurs in dry soil then uh, this void will quickly absorb water and and to fulfill the water deficiency in below soil it will transmit water so um, dry soil tend to have high infiltration rates initially as they can absorb water readily However, as the soil becomes saturated, the infiltration rate decreases. Uh, if this soil have um, water already present, then uh, infiltration will be less because it have already moisture and runoff will be more. Saturated or already moist soil have limited capacity to accept additional what resulting in reduced infiltration rates next is slope and topography the slope of land influence infiltration on a steep slope this is the steep slope water may flow rapidly uh, water will flow rapidly the rainwater will flow rapidly uh, over the surface increase than the potential for run off then the runoff will be more and infiltration will be less from figure gentle slope uh, if this is a gentle slope then uh, infiltration will be more and runoff will be less than previous condition gentle slope allow water to infiltrate more effectively next is uh, this topography topography also affects the distribution of water on the landscape uh, leading to variation in infiltration rates across different areas that means infiltration also depends upon topography of the area and next is the rainfall intensity and duration the characteristics of rainfall such as intensity and duration affect infiltration rate uh, the rainfall intensity means amount of rainfall per uh, time and duration means the time affect infiltration rate high intensity rate even can create runoff and limit infiltration uh, if the intensity of the rainfall is high then uh, especially on compacted on or poorly structured soil then it will hit it more and it cannot penetrate faster and um, prolonged rainfall event may saturate uh, prolonged rainfall event may saturate the soil over time reducing the infiltration capacity uh, if rainfall occurs uh, for more duration then uh, 
the soil above the ground is already saturated so it have less capacity to take uh, the water so which reduce infiltration capacity uh, next is land use and land management practice human activities and land management practices can significantly impact infiltration rate land use changes such as urbanization and deforestation can lead to increase impervious, impervious surfaces and reduce infiltration uh, due to urbanization and especially unplanned um, urbanization uh, Mm, there is the construction of road so uh, road is a impervious material so the penetration uh, will be negligible and uh, by construction of houses and um, other park with rcc or PCC or stone uh, covering then also the infiltration will be less and the compact compacted ground will also have less infiltration poor land management practices such as overgrazing or improper tillage if mm, the grass plants are cut more and are overgrazed, uh, then it can cause compaction to the soil and uh, the pore size will be reduced so that it hampers the infiltration. Next is soil compaction. Soil compaction occurs when the soil particles are compressed, reducing pore spaces and resting water movement. Uh, this is the loose soil which have um, the large pores and if this is compacted then the particle will come together uh, so that uh, the pore size decreases and restrict it restrict the water movement compacted soil have lower infiltration rates compared to well structured soil this is well structured soil and this is compacted soil heavy machinery heavy vehicles uh, food traffic uh, the movement of people or livestock gazing on soil can lead to compaction uh, next is this is the final factors uh, this is soil organic matter soils rich in organic matters have better structure aggregation and porosity allowing for increased water infiltration and that means if there is organic more organic matter present in soil that is uh, if the soil is agricultural soil uh, if there is agriculture in soil then uh, infiltration will be more organic matter acts like a sponge sponge have large void which hold and create a pathway for infiltration uh, this was the question asked in 2018 of Purvanchal University enumerate the significance of Orton's equation. Uh, Orton's equation is F is equal to F C plus F not minus F C E power minus K
this is the orthogonal formula or orthogonal equation f equals f c plus f n minus f c e power minus k k t and this is the graph of orthogonal equation. So we have to explain about significance of our tone equation. In 2018, it was asked in only one marks, so that uh, we should not explain, uh, but we should write only the point. One is representation of infiltration. Second is study of a runoff generation. Third is ideological modeling. Fourth is water set management fifth is soil conservation six is engineering applications seven is climate changes studies in one two maps we should only list this but if uh, it is asked in more maths like 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, then uh, we should explain them uh, briefly or detailly according to the maths. Hawthorne's equation is a mathematical equation developed by Robert E. Hawthorne, uh, an American hydrologist. To describe the process of surface runoff in hydrology, uh, it is widely used in hydrological studies and has several significant implications. Here are some of the key significance of Hawthorne's equation. First is representation of infiltration. Hawthorne's equation provides a mathematical representation of the infiltration process in hydrology. This is we can calculate F. F is the infiltration. And this describes the relationship between the infiltration rate and cumulative infiltration rate over time. This information is very important for understanding how water moves into the soil and how it affects the runoff generation. Uh, study of runoff generation. Uh, a uh, runoff is uh, precipitation minus infiltration. Uh, from this formula, we can calculate infiltration, and by knowing infiltration and pre precipitation, uh, we can calculate the runoff. Orton's equation plays a vital role in studying the generation of surface runoff. It helps hydrologists estimate the amount of water that becomes runoff, amount of water that becomes runoff and leaves the land surface instead of infiltrating into the soil. By considering factors such as rainfall intensity, soil properties, and antecedent soil moisture, the equation provides insight into a runoff process. Uh, by knowing the rainfall in intensity, that is P, uh, the properties of soil and the moisture content and relation, soil moisture relation, uh, we can provide the runoff. And three is hydrological modeling. To model different hydrological processes, uh, this equation is used. Uh, Orton's equation is incorporated in various hydrological models for simulating the movement of water through water cell. Uh, this is the water set or uh, catchment. Uh, for the modeling of catchment for the construction of machine hydraulic uh, construction, uh, we can um, derive 
the model or equation uh, for this uh, what I said this model has been predicting steam flow predicting the steam flow flood event flood event and water ability in the given area the equation serves as fundamental component in this model contributing to the accuracy and reliability next is this management of this water set or management of this catchment area understanding the runoff generation process is essential for effective water system management Orton's equation assists in assessing the impact of land use changes urbanization and other factors on the hydrologic response of the water set uh, impact of land use uh, if this area was previously used as uh, agriculture or uh, something then and land use change and after uh, this area is used for settlement for industrial purpose uh, for creating parks or something then uh, urbanization means uh, urbanization means the construction of houses roads river roads bridge parks um, etc and other factors then Orton's equation uh, has to examine the impact uh, in this watershed and it enables the evaluation of different management strategies and their potential effect on water resources next is soil conservation uh, this autumn equation is also um, useful for soil conservation by reducing the soil erosion autumn's equation aid in evaluation of soil conservation practices and their impact of surface runoff uh, by quantifying the changes in infiltration rate resulting from conservation measures such as tracing control flowing or vegetative cover the equation has determined the effectiveness in reducing runoff and erosion. It has to reduce soil erosion and it helps also to reduce runoff. By reducing this, uh, soil will be conserved and infiltration will be more. And next is engineering application. Orton's equation find practical applications in engineering, particularly in the design of drainage system, storm water management, and flood control structures. Uh, it provides insight into the expected runoff volume and peak flow. Uh, we can expect, we can uh, estimate the runoff volume, peak flow. Uh, we can estimate the flood, the return period of flood helping engineers design infrastructure that can handle and mitigate the effect of runoff. Uh, the last one is climate change studies. Uh, as we know that um, the climate is changing uh, uh, due to the uh, global warming, um, unplanned urbanization, uh, due to the Injustice. So, as climate change impact hydrological processes, uh, the hydrological processes are uh, precipitation, runoff, infiltration, percolation, uh, interception, evaporation, transportation. The climate change impact these hydrological processes, including precipitation pattern and intensity, uh, the pattern and the Amount of rainfall over time. So, Orton's equation is valuable in assessing this change uh, by incorporating project changes in rainfall and other climate variables into equation. Researchers can study the potential alteration in runoff patterns and understand the implication for water resources management. This was the question asked in 2016 in 4 marks.
uh, it is right sort node on infiltration so what is infiltration the process by which water on the ground surface enters the soil is called infiltration uh, the rate of infiltration is affected by soil characteristics including ease of entry if the in, uh, entry is easy that means if this is ground then uh, the surface is uh, if the surface is uh, have vegetation cover and if it have less uh, uh, impermeable cover then infiltration will be more and storage capacity the storage capacity of this uh, soil if this has large storage capacity then infiltration will be more and transmission rate through the soil that means permeability of the soil uh, it has if this has high permeability or high um, pore size then infiltration will be more and vice versa the key factors affecting or influence influences infiltration as follow soil texture and structure for um, coarse grain soil example sand uh, infiltration will be more and for fine soil example clay soil then it have less void so infiltration is more less and vegetation cover if it has uh, vegetation cover then infiltration will be more uh, soil moisture content if the soil is dry then the water uh, infiltrates quickly and uh, if the soil is saturated or wet or uh, rainfall has occurred uh, earlier then it already had uh, water in here so that uh, infiltration decreases next is slope and topography for steep slope runoff will be more so infiltration is less and for gentle slope mm, uh, water will quickly infiltrate into the soil and runoff will be less compared to this and uh, next is rainfall intensity if the rainfall intensity is high then due to the impact uh, and due to high runoff infiltration is less and duration if rainfall occurs in south direction then more water will infiltrate and if uh, rainfall have occurred previously for long duration then the voids already have moisture content so uh, infiltration rate decreases next is land use land management practice uh, how the land is used if the land is used for uh, buildings industries uh, roads and uh, parks with impervious material then uh, there is less infiltration and if the land is agricultural land with uh, more vegetation or if the land is forest or grassland then uh, infiltration will be more next is soil compaction in compacted soil void is less so infiltration is uh, less and in um, well structured or non-compacted soil uh, the void void will be more so that uh, water penetrates quickly uh, next is soil organic matter if there is organic matter then it will absorb and transmit the water so that infiltration increases next is infiltration is measured by infiltrometer the device that uh, is used to measure infiltration is known as infiltrometer which are 
the device to measure the rate of water infiltration into the soil. Uh, the type of infiltrometers are of two types, a uh, flooring type and rainfall simulator type. Flooring type is further divided into single ring containing only one ring and double ring containing two uh, concentric rings. Next is rainfall simulator. Uh, rainfall simulator uh, means uh, the artificial rainfall which simulate or with pretend or copies the natural rainfall uh, the rainfall has just started here uh, you can uh, you may hear the rainfall next is 2014 uh, 2015 distinguish between the following uh, infiltration capacity and infiltration rate mm. capacity is the um, maximum amount of uh, infiltration um, that the soil can uh, infiltration capacity is the max is the maximum rate at which so it can absorb water if the um, precipitation is uh, more than infiltration capacity then only the amount um, infiltration capacity um, it is infiltrated and uh, remaining will be run off and infiltration rate is the actual rate at which water infiltrates uh, let's say it is 10 uh, centimeter per hour this is the maximum but actual rate will be 10 9 7 uh, which is less than this capacity this is the definition and next is description uh, Uh, infiltration capacity represents the soil's ability to absorb water under ideal condition. It is under ideal condition. Example, no water already present in soil. The ideal condition is the mm, in this soil. Uh, it is the unsaturated soil that means no water is present. And infiltration rate means it reflects the rate at which water is actually entering the soil at a given moment at the given time uh, what at what rate the water penetrates that is infiltration rate uh, considering factors such as soil moisture compaction and slow if there is more soil moisture then infiltration is less if there is more compaction then infiltration is less and if there is a step slope then also infiltration is less uh, the unit is the same so that uh, it is the similarity and not the um, distinguish units length per time length per time that is uh, i have written here centimeter per hour millimeter per hour um, inches per hour similar here inches per hour or millimeter per hour next is factors affecting uh, infiltration capacity these are soil types texture structures and compaction and here is soil moisture content slope vegetation cover and surface condition next in measurement how to measure infiltration capacity uh, determined through laboratory test or estimated based on soil cactus uh, based on the soil cactus and uh, lab test we can measure this and uh, this infiltration rate is measured in the field using various technique like infiltrometer test or double ring infiltrometer this is measured in laboratory and this is measured in field next is relationship 
infiltration capacity set an upper limit for infiltration rate infiltration rate cannot exceed infiltration capacity it varies depending on the prevailing condition is the maximum capacity so it is the upper limit and it will cannot exceed the infiltration capacity and it lies below the infiltration capacity it varies depending on prevailing condition uh, the theory path is over and the numerical of infiltration capacity um, this is the question asked in Purvanchal University 2019 in 3A in 6 marks. Uh, the question is an infiltration capacity prepared for a catchment indicated an initial infiltration that is F0 or F0 this is 3.5 cm per hour and attains a constant value 1.5 cm per hour after 8 hours. Uh, a total precipitation of 6.5 cm. Uh, Calculate the Horton's constant k. So we will define the Horton's constant k and time is it hours from Horton's equation. F p is equal to F c plus F not minus F c e power minus k t. Uh, F p is integration from zero to t. F p dt. Uh, this is the graph. Uh, this is time. Independent is always kept in this x axis. That is time and dependent is f. So infiltration is dependent on t so dependent variable is always placed in y-axis so uh, from this we can uh, plot fp this is the fp and initially it infiltration will be more and as the time passes it will uh, be constant so it is this is uh, of not and this is of c and from data of not is must be greater than of c and the time is eight hours and depth of infiltration is 6.5 centimeter so integration is from zero to time t from zero to time t so Yf is this Yf C plus Yf not minus Yf C e power minus K T and D T. So Yf since Yf C is constant, so um, it will so integration and derivation cancels and remaining is T and Yf not minus Yf C is uh, constant, so it is taken co common. So integration zero T e power minus K T will be remaining. So um, of c was 1.5 and of not mass was 3.5 and time was 8 hours and integration from 0 to 2 e power minus kt dt mm. 6.5 is equal to 12 plus 2 uh, 1.5 into 8 is 12 and 3.5 minus 1.5 is 2 integration e power minus kt and this 6.5 minus 12 is minus 5.5 and divided by 2 is minus 2.75 and the remaining is 0 to 2 e power minus kt dt uh, mm. integration of exponential is exponential and the coefficient of this variable will be in denominator and the limit is from 0 to 2 and minus 2.75 is this minus 1 by k e power minus kt minus e power 0 is 1 uh, and for last value of t for last t e power minus kt is negligible so you can write 0 so k is minus 0 0.3636 per hour so uh, the orthons constant k is minus 0.3636 per hour and the next question that was asked in 2014 PO in 1B it marks is the infiltration rates observed during a test on a double ring infiltrometer are given hmm. 
this is the double ring this is one ring and this is another ring and in plan it is this so the infiltration days of the during our test are double ring infiltrator arrays given uh, the timing hours and uh, infiltration in centimeter per hour in is given uh, at initially uh, the value of infiltration is more like 0 0.7810.747 0 0.663 and uh, at final uh, infiltration is less like 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.218 0 0.207 uh, from the because the graph was like this graph was like this initially the this this is the time initially the f value was more and uh, it is as the time passes it is it decreases so initially the f value is more and it decreases 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 as the time passes determine the constant f naught of C and K uh, of the Hortons equation which fits the above data. Uh, the Hortons infiltration equation is given by this F is equal to uh, F C plus F naught minus F C. Uh, this is f naught and after attaining constant value it is f c means constant zero or not means initial uh, and rearranging f minus f c is f naught minus f c e power minus kt taking log on both sides ln f minus f c is equal to ln f naught minus f c e power minus kt and uh, this will be same and here it is log uh, we have the formula log a into b is log uh, of a plus log of b similarly will be case on this ln ln uh, this plus ln this and this will be same and uh, this and this will be one so uh, the remaining will be this will come to uh, this minus kd so uh, this we assume y this we assume c and this um, the same so equation becomes y is minus kt plus c which is the linear equation with slope equal to uh, minus minus k mm. this is the slope of this linear equation which is the linear equation with slope equal to minus k and y is this ln of minus of c c is this ln of not minus of c uh, since of c is not given in question we can assume your c as 0.2 because um, from here it reduces 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 to uh, 0 0.6 from this curve uh, this is zero initial one 0 0.781 it is 0 0.747 this is 0 0.62 535 uh, 0 0.370 0 0.255 0 0.224 0 0.218 0. Uh, 207 so um, it will be becoming like this straight line this was like curve and this is like straight line to this fc so uh, we assume that it will be constant at 0 0.2 so we can assume uh, 0 0.2 here uh, if but if uh, it was like 0 0.918 0 0.907 then we can assume like 0 0.9 here clear uh, then determination of constant by least square method 
we have to find the value of this y and c by any method but i prefer uh, this square method because it is easier to me you can use any other method also so time is 0 0.781 0 0.747 0 0.6 no no time is 0 0.0417 0 0.125 and so on up to uh, this 5.5 5.5 hour and the uh, infiltration is uh, 0 0.781 0 0.747 up to 0 0.207 up to um, 0 0.207 centimeter per hour this is in centimeter per hour and this is in hours and uh, I'm going to calculate this y y is minus kt plus c or it is also ln we have assumed this as y so it is ln f minus f c ln f minus f c f is this value and f c we have assumed uh, we have taken 0 0.2 centimeter per hour so Mm, by calculator 0 0.781 minus 0 0.2 is uh, 0 0.581 and the ln of the answer is minus 0 0.543 and so on and summation of this will be minus 20.393 and summation of x will be 18.7494 and x y means this multiply by this 0 0.0417 0 0.0417 into minus 0 0.543 minus 0 0.543 it is minus 0 0.023 and so on and the x square is this 0 0.0417 square that is 0 0.002 and summis summation of x y and summation of x square is this uh, we know the formula of straight line is y is a plus b x uh, by using list square method uh, by summis doing summation in equation b we get summation y is uh, n times a and summation this b times summation x1 b times x1 b x2 b x3 plus b x4 that is b summation x and uh, multiplying by uh, summation x in this equation we get summation x y is a summation x and b summation x square so from uh, summation y is uh, this is y and summation y is this minus 20.393 uh, n is this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 number of data so n is 9 and summation x is 18.7497 and summation x y is this minus 69.507 and summation x square is 71.942 so here are two equation and two unknown that is a and b there is a and this is b two unknown and two equation
so we can find the value of a and b from calculator as a is minus 0.554 and b is minus 0 0.822 uh, comparing equation a and b this is equation b and the actual equation of what a by comparing this and this uh, the constant is c here and the constant is a here so a equals to c that is minus 0 0.554 and and the coefficient of x was b and here the coefficient x is d coefficient of d is minus k so b is minus k b is minus k that is k is minus b is a minus minus 0 0.822 minus minus will be plus and 0 0.822 so from equation d from equation d c is ln of not minus of c C is ln of not minus of C. So uh, C was minus zero point five five four ln of not and of C was minus zero point two. So of not equals zero point seven seven five centimeter per hour. And of C uh, we have as in from the table and k is and this 0 0.822 and in question we have to find this quantity of not of c and k so these are the values uh, the next question that was asked in 2014 chance uh, 2014 chance of Provincial University that was asked in 8 marks in 2B for the Hawthorne's model the infiltration rate at the beginning uh, that is F0 is 10 cm per hour and decreased to 1 cm per hour in 10 years 10 hours uh, the total 70 cm that is F of water infiltrated during this 10 hours period compute the value of K that is Horton's constant k of the Horton's model. So we know the Horton's equation f is f c plus f not minus f c e power minus kt. Cumulative infiltration uh, is given by the summation by the integration. So from 0 to t f dt and integration f is f c plus f not minus f c e power minus kt and this of not of c is constant so uh, integration of constant will be constant times the t plus of not minus of c is constant and uh, the integration of e uh, 0 to t e power minus kt dt is e power minus kt and the coefficient of t is minus k and the limit is from 0 to t so this minus k will be is this and the remainder is e minus kt from 0 to t so uh, Taking this upper limit, it is minus kt, and taking the lower limit, it is minus e power minus 0, that is 1. So, by multiplying minus in here, so it will be reverse. So, 1 will be at beginnings, and e power minus kt will be at last. So, for last value of t, the value e power minus kt becomes negligible, hence, above equation dt says to uh, this value will be negligible. So above equation d this is to f c t plus f not minus k is one minus zero is one and one into 
and this is f naught minus f c divided by k. So this taking these two other side, f t is minus k t minus f c t, f naught minus f c k, and k is k will go up, and f naught minus f c divided by this will go down. So f t minus f c t. So f naught and f c value what? f naught and f c value was 10 and 1 and f value was 7. 10, 1, 7 and uh, the f c value was 1 and time was 10 hours. So 10. 10 minus 1 divided by 70 minus 1 into 10 is 0 0.15 and is unit is 4 hours. Next question that was asked in Trigon University 2072 Soitra uh, The ordinance of rainfall mass curve of a storm over a basin of area 850 km square Area is 850 km square measured in millimeter at one hour interval are 0, 10, 22 This is the rainfall mass curve so it will always in increasing order so uh, 10 is greater than 0 22 is greater than 10 30 is greater than 22 mass of means uh, total accumula accumulated water rainfall uh, 0 10 22 30 39 45.5 50 55.5 60 64 and 68 one hour interval if the infiltration during the storm can be represented by others equation with f naught is 6.5 mm per hour, f c is 1.5 mm per hour, and k is 0 0.5 per hour, estimate the resulting runoff. Uh, we have to calculate the runoff. So, these are the value given f naught 6.5, f c 1.5, k 0. Point, uh, it is 1 5. 0 0.15. Cumulative infiltration for 10 hours is given by uh, integration from 0 to 10 Fc plus F0 minus Fc e power minus kt dt and Fc and t from 0 to 10 and this will be common and integration of this will be this from 0 to 10 and t was 10 F0 minus Fc divided by minus k e power minus uh, taking upper limit which is 10 and lower limit this is 0 so minus 0 is also 0 so you have see what's um, 1.5 and time was 10 hours uh, time was 10 hours because 1 2 3 4 uh, 5 6 7 8 9 10 so time is 10 hours and you have not and you have see what's 6.5 and 1.5 and the value of k was 0 0.15 so you have is 40.6 millimeter total rainfall in 10 hours uh, is given this Total rainfall in 10 hours is this 68. So runoff is total rainfall minus this infiltration that is 68 minus 40.896 that is 27.104 millimeter. We need to calculate the runoff volume. And this is the depth in millimeter, so volume is this. This depth multiplied by area 200 millimeter into meter, uh, we should divide by 1000 and to convert area is 850 kilometer square. 850 to convert uh, kilometer into meter, we multiply by 1000 and there is square, so 1000 square is 10 power 6, so 
total drum shot is 23.038 into 10 power 6 meter cube and 10 power 6 is called million so 23.0384 millions meter cube This question was asked in Tribhuvan University 2071 Sravan. The infiltration capacity in basin is represented by Houghton equation this, where Kp is Fp is centimeter per hour and T in is hour. So this and this matches. So okay. Assuming infiltration to take place at a capacity in a storm at six minute duration. Uh, it has a duration of 60 minutes, first 30 and second 30. This is the 60 minute duration, and we have to estimate the depth of infiltration in first 30 and second 30 of the stone. So, Yof P is 3 plus e power minus 2t, Yof P is from 0 to 2, Yof P dt, and Yof P is in first 30 minutes. Uh, since all this is given in hours, so we have to convert minutes into hour that is 40 minutes is 0 0.5 hours from 0 to t t is 0 0.5 hours and f p is 3 plus e power minus 2 t dt and integration of 3 is 3 t and integration of e power minus 2 t is e power minus 2 t and uh, denominator will be coefficient of t that is minus 2 from 0 to 0 0.5 3 into taking upper limit 3 into 0 0.5 plus e power minus 2 and t will be 0 0.5 divided by minus 2 and taking lower limit 3 into 0 plus e power minus 2 and t will be 0 and divided by minus 2 so it will be uh, 1.816 centimeter yes the date of Filtration in first 30 minutes of infiltration is 1.816 cm. For second 30 minutes, uh, from time will be from this is the basic equation from T1 to T2. T1 is 0 0.5 and T2 is 60 hour 60 minutes, that is 1 hour, and 3 plus minus e power minus 2t dt. Integration of 3 is 3t and integration is e power minus 2t is e power minus 2t by minus 2. And the limit is from 0 0.5 to 1. 0 0.5 to 1. Taking upper limit uh, at t is, is equal to 1. So t is 1. And taking lower limit t is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So your p2 is 1.616 centimeter. And the depth of infiltration is taken 30 minutes of storm is 1.616 centimeter. Uh, this is the question. The infiltration capacity of soil in a small water set is a catchment uh, was found to be 6 cm per hour before a rainfall. Initially, it is 6 cm per hour and it was found to be 1.2 at the end of 8 hours. So, at the beginning of 8 hours, it is 6 cm per hour. At the end of six, 8 hours, it is 1.2 cm per hour. If the infiltration during 8 our spread of storm was 15 cm. Estimate the value of TK coefficient that is K in Arthur's infiltration capacity equation. So, this is the basic formula of Arthur's equation. So, from by integrating it will be from 0 to T, of C plus of not minus of C e power minus KT dt, and integration of of C is of C into T, and from 0 to T. Taking upper limit, it is of C T, and taking lower limit, it is of C into zero. So of C into zero is zero. So that is not written here. And of not minus of C e power minus K T upon the coefficient of T is minus K, uh, and limit is from zero to T. And uh, e power minus K T by K, this is uh, putting upper limit and putting lower limit. It is uh, zero in place of so k into 0 is 0 so taking minus k common it will be e power minus kt minus 1 so multiply minus in this it will be uh, minus e power minus kt and minus minus that is plus 1 so for last value of t e power minus kt 
is negligible. That means if t tends to infinity, e power minus kt tends to 0. So this will be 0. So 1 minus 0 is 0. So remaining is the this. This. Yf e equals yf c t plus yf naught minus yf c. So rearranging yf p minus yf c t is equal to yf naught minus yf c k and this k will be go up so k is yf naught minus yf c and this will go down so yf p minus yf c t yf naught and yf c value what's 6 and 1.2 6 and 1.2 and yf p was 50 and time was 8 so k is the 0 0.889 per hour so hot tons infiltration capacity equation k the decay coefficient k in hot tons infiltration capacity equation is equal to 0 0.889 per hour and uh, the hot tons infiltration equation for a basin is given by this where f is in millimeter per hour and t is in hour so our our method so uh, okay what are the values of f naught, f c, and k? We need to find the value of f naught, f c, and uh, this k. Uh, if a storm occurs on a basin with the intensity of more than forty mm per hour, determine the depth of infiltration for the first one hour and average infiltration depth for first two hours. So this is the given equation and this is the standard equation. So comparing this, uh, Fc is 10. So F0 minus Fc is 30. So F0 minus Fc is 10 is equal to 30. So F will be 30 plus 10, 40. And this k is my k is 0 0.8. So we have covered F0, Fc, and k as uh, 40. 10 and 0 0.8 respectively so this is the first question in second part uh, if a storm occurs on a basin with an intensity of more than 40 km per hour this is the storm occurring in the basin or catchment or water set with the intensity greater than 40 millimeter per hour determine the depth of infiltration depth of infiltration for first hour and average infiltration for first two hour this is for first hour and this is the for first two hour i will define average infiltration mm. red for intensity is more than uh, of not uh, the infiltration capacity is 40 but the rainfall is more than 40 uh, more than 40 year yeah. more than more than 40 so all the so it will infiltrate in the this maximum capacity in the beginning so the infection takes place at a capacity rate throughout the storm so it will infiltrate in maximum capacity uh, and f is for first hour 0 to 1 f dt 0 1 f is 10 plus 30 e power minus 0 0.80 and the uh, integration of um, 10 it's 20 and in and plus th this will be like uh, this will be 10 t plus 30 e power minus 0 0.8 t divided by 0 minus 0 point and the limit will be from 
zero two one. I have directly done in the calculator. Uh, you can also do directly or by step by. So from this taking upper limit ten into one plus thirty into e power minus zero point eight into one is minus zero point eight divided by minus zero point eight minus taking lower limit this ten into zero will be zero so thirty into e power minus minus zero point eight into zero is this whole term will be zero divided by minus zero point eight. Uh, by solving in calculator, it is ten into one plus thirty into e power minus zero point eight divided by minus zero point eight. 10 into 1 plus 30 into e power minus 0 0.8 by minus 0 0.8 it will be uh, minus 6 point 8 5 0 minus 30 into e power 0 divided by minus 0 0.8 It is minus thirty seven point five minus six point eight five minus minus will be plus and forty seven point five is uh, thirty point six five millimeter and in other part cumulative depth of infiltration for the first two hours is given by uh, so in that one we should replace by two so it will be 49.99 meter but in question we have to determine depth of infiltration for first one hour and for second for first two hour it have asked to determine average infiltration so average infiltration will be f divided by p 49.929 millimeter divided by t in hour that is uh, 24.964 millimeter per hour uh, this is the last question uh, from this topic uh, the cumulative depth of infiltration is given by f is equal to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 which is t power 0 0.15 where f is in centimeter and t is in minutes determine the equation for infiltration rate and average infiltration rate so the cumulative depth of infiltration is given by this equation of infiltration rate will be d of divided by dt equation for infiltration rate will be infiltration divided by time and d of t by dt of g of is 0 0.2 t 0 0.55 and uh, 0 0.2 into 0 0.55 will be this because we have we know that derivative of x yon um, is this yon x yon minus one if there is two then two into yon x yon minus one if there is yon then yon yon x yon minus one so it is this 0 0.2 multiplied by this 0 0.5 and t yon minus one is 0 0.55 minus one that is minus 0 0.45 this 6.6 t minus 0 0.45 centimeter per hour and 
average infiltration rate is of divided by t of is 0.2 plus 0 0.15 0.2 t 0 0.55 divided by time so 0 0.2 t 0 0.55 minus 1 is minus 0 0.45 centimeter per hour so if you enjoy the video hit that like button uh, share to your friends and finally uh, comment and subscribe the channel thank you